a little boy was to pitch for the St. Louis Cardinals. But I didn't because of a total lack of talent. Well, I got my job, my first job in radio, when I was still in college. My wife and I had been married. I'd been a naval aviator, and when I got my wings, we got married. I wrote local news, and I did a sportscast. But finally, I did what I'm doing right now. I did an audience participation show. And my wife heard that. She said, Barker, that's what you should do. You did that better than you've ever done anything else. She didn't say I was good. She said I did it better than I'd ever done anything else. One of the most fortunate things in my life was the fact that Ralph Edwards came into my life. He had sold Truth or Consequences as a daytime show on NBC. He heard me doing my audience participation radio show. He liked my work, called me, and that he would like to talk about me becoming the host of the show. He said, when would it be convenient for you to meet with me? I said, Mr. Edwards, I can be over there in 15 minutes. I'm on my way. Remember this name. You're going to be hearing a lot about him. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Barker. And then on December 21st, 1956, at five minutes past 12 noon, Ralph Edwards called me. He told me that I was to be the host of Truth or Consequences. Hi again, Limber. Uh, All set, let's see. Yep, yep, he's ready, relax. We did Truth or Consequences live. We did it first from the NBC studio at Sunset and Vine. Then we did it at the old El Capitan Theater. Eventually, we were one of the first shows to go to color, at which time we went out to Burbank. Well, until next time, this is Bob Barker saying, why don't I get more money? Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Mark Goodson had seen me on Truth or Consequences, and he liked my work. This was to be a network show, The Price is Right. And uh, he told me he'd like to have me host it. And I met with him, and he told me what he had planned. And he said, uh, what do you think, Bob? And I said, I think it'll work. He said, I do too. I think we'll get a long run out of this. 